My name is Alan Murphy and I'm from Belfast. Football mad, uh, always have been from when I was this high. Um, and lucky enough for me that turned a semi-professional, about 20 years of age, so that was pretty cool. Played over 500 games in, in the Irish League. Played in Europe, European football as well. I now do involve in a bit of coaching. The kids, two sons, play football now. I have uh, two boys, one aged 11 and one aged nine and a half. So fingers crossed they'll uh, follow in my footsteps and uh, except maybe this time they'll be able to go one step further than me and maybe make it across the water and big time in the Premier League. So fingers crossed. I basically went for an eye test as part of my regular checkup. I went to my local uh, opticians, uh, spec savers, and um, I could tell by Paul's reaction something wasn't right. It was when I did the eye test and I looked in the back of his eyes and thought his optic disc looked enlarged and pale. That was the, the initial thing that got me suspicious of glaucoma. I, I was quite shocked when I looked in the back of his eyes and uh, I thought I'd better get pressures. His pressure in his eye was higher than we would like and that can often cause nerve damage at the back of the eye and then that gradually eats away at the peripheral vision and he already had a significant defect um, in his right eye. I was referred up to the Royal Victoria Hospital and uh, it was diagnosed straight away that uh, I had glaucoma. And they basically told me if I hadn't have went for the checkup and I hadn't been diagnosed by the, the opticians that uh, potentially I could have been blind within five years. It was a scary thought at the time, so um, they said well we need to treat this straight away and I was advised to take uh, eye drops and I was also advised to uh, have laser surgery as well so uh, that happened. Thankfully it's kept it, kept it down low, the pressure's low so I can get on with life. He's always a case that sticks out in my mind, I think because he was about the same age as myself when I diagnosed him. Not everybody takes pressures until patients in their practice are 40 and it changed it changed what we did in practice. We now take pressures on everybody over 18 in our practice. I just can't thank Paula and Spectators enough for referring me, basically. If it hadn't been for her, then I'd try to think what, uh, what would have happened. My message to anybody, go and get your eyes checked. It would only take 10 minutes. Call in, make an appointment, and it's definitely worth it.